What's going on everybody? Doug Price here from the Agave Social Club Podcast. Before we get into this video, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. I wanna be launching at least one video a week. So if you like these videos, hit that subscribe button so you'll know when they're coming out. Just launched a brand new episode with Guillermo Erickson Salsa in Fortaleza. If you're into tequila, then I guarantee you know about Guillermo and Fortaleza. If you are learning about tequila, if you found this video and you wanna learn more about tequila, I wanna highly encourage you to find some Fortaleza, try it for yourself. This is small batch craft, authentic tequila. The episode we start a little bit with just the history. It's hard to talk about uh, Fortaleza without going back to the history of tequila. Guillermo's great, great grandfather was Don Sinobio Sousa. He is credited for a handful of things, but one of them being bringing tequila to the United States. So a lot of family history there. And then his son, Don Eladio, takes over the Salsa company, the brand. And once he passes away, then it goes to Guillermo's grandfather, Francisco Javier, Don Javier. And it's during his time where he really takes the Salsa brand, the name, to a massive platform. We talk a little bit about family history and the early days of Salsa. They were making tequila at this distillery, which is where Fortaleza is being made. At some point, the family shuts it down because it just wasn't efficient enough. It's too small, they were growing so much, and so they eventually turn it into a museum with all of that history. In the late 90s, Guillermo decides it's time to go back to this land, to the distillery, to repurpose it, to bring it back to life, and to start making tequila that his grandfather, great-grandfather, and great-great-grandfather would be proud of. And man, does he do that. We walk through the process of Fortaleza. Like I said, small batch. I was just at the distillery last week. They're running 24 hours a day, six days a week, just to keep up with the demand. There's so much demand for this tequila. We're using very, very mature agaves, being cooked in these brick ovens, being shredded, going into a tajona. There's no roller mill here, just a tajona, just like it was done years and years and years ago. So this is a Tahona. I actually got this from Fortaleza on my last trip, a small version. This is volcanic stone. This is in the Tequila Valley where there's this volcano there, obsidian, this volcanic rock is all over the streets there. And this volcanic stone is crushing these agaves. Very, very inefficient. We talk about the inefficiency, but the flavor, this is old school. And this is what he was going for. Then we go in wood fermentation and then distillation with copper pots. Man, this is a real treat. I wanna encourage you to check out this episode. A lot of you have already listened to this episode, but Fortaleza, such a special brand. We talk a little bit about the single barrel program, the winter blends. They've got some tequilas that are coming out that everyone is trying to get their hands on. But that's the only tequila that's coming out of their distillery. They're not making more than one brand unless you consider Los Abuelos, which is the same tequila, just a different name. So we go through that process. We hit their Blanco, their Still Strength. They just came out with a brand new Still Strength that you want to get your hands on, the Agaves de la Villa. These are agaves that were harvested from around his house. His house overlooks these amazing grounds. I'm going to have some more videos about my time there last week about the property, uh, but brand new Still Strength that we talked through. We go through their Reposado there in Yeho. We talk a little bit about what's going on with 42A and 43A. Very, very special tequila. May have a little bit of extra in Yeho or a lot of extra in Yeho in it, but we just walk through all the different expressions there. Guillermo is an awesome guy. It's been an honor to get to know him over the past year, spending some time with him out there as I've been continuing to go out to Mexico and build these great relationships with these amazing men and women that are making tequila. Make sure you listen to the entire episode. It's on all major platforms. Wherever you listen to podcasts, Podcasts, you can listen to this entire episode with Guillermo and Fortaleza. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Agave Social Club. I want to say a big thank you to SipTequila.com for being the sponsor of the podcast. If you're looking for amazing tequilas shipped direct to your door, SipTequila.com is where you want to be. I'm Doug Price, and thanks for watching.